everybody. So, update on the cemetery. Didn't really see much. Captured a few pictures. Caught like three orbs and a full figure other than that. It was quiet, calm. Kind of peaceful, actually. Uh, trying to get a group of people together to see if we can go out there and clean it up. Because it's nasty. I can't believe they let it get that bad. It's just, oh man. I don't know how their family is not doing something about it. Because I know I would be. And we're going to. Maybe get a fundraiser going. Do something. Help everyone out. Still potential out there. So, yeah. Anyways, just a little update. I know at the end of the video I said I was going to come back. Uh... Ended up meeting back up with my buddies out there, so I ended up forgetting, obviously. There will be more videos out there. There's actually another cemetery that I want to check out. It's kind of like, it's like 10 minutes from that one, so this one's a little bit older. It dates back to like in the 80s to the actually early like 70s, I believe. Yeah. Sorry for the crappy video trying to water the yard and hold my phone at the same time. Still trying to get used to this whole vlogging thing. I'm not sure. Uh, there will be a prank video probably next month coming out. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm back. I was having technical difficulties out there. So I had to pause the camera real quick. So tonight I'm going to get online, do some research, see how many cemeteries I can find, go explore, and do something. Let me know what y'all think. You want cemetery videos? Do you want more? I also do ghost hunting. That could be another thing. I know that's pretty big on YouTube right now. I do communicate with spirits. Depending on the location, I'll, like last night after the video, I ended up uh, getting on my app. Oh uh, shit, I forgot the name, but I was on the app, communicated with like three spirits. Had a nice, tried to have a conversation with them. Kind of hard to hear them, but I don't know. I feel like. A lot of people like that kind of stuff, so that's probably going to be more of what this channel is going to be a, about, but we will see. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not used, I'm like, not used to vlogging. All new to me, but it's worth it. I already got over 2,000 subscribers, and by the way, thank you to everyone new. Everyone liking my videos, thank you. Much appreciated. I've subscribed back to some of y'all's channels that subscribed to me to help you guys out. It means a lot. Uh, anyways, I'll let y'all go. And I will keep you guys updated to see if I can find any new cemeteries. Alright, peace. Well, back again. Back to annoy all you, I should say. Hopefully not. Anyways, I try to talk to my wife and see if I can get her in some of these vlogs, make it more interesting. She's like, uh, she's not shy, but she is. I think I'm the most shy out of this whole family, so. I'm gonna do a pipe pay prank. I got a, con a confetti cannon, so that's going to come in handy. You guys are going to see that in a future vlog as a prank. When she comes home from work, she can get a nice little surprise. Yeah, hopefully you don't watch this because I just gave it away. Oh, well, still going to happen. She'll forget. Now she's pregnant, so she's got that pregnancy brain. She forgets everything. So, we'll see. I'll see what she says, see what she thinks. She's been pushing me to start doing more videos, be more active on here. 
she's been wanting to try to do more stuff on here as well. And she likes to do pranks, but she don't want me to prank her. So, I'll just make her think I'm not going to. So that'll be a nice little surprise for her. I don't know what she's got in plan for me, but she gonna get it back twice as bad as what she did to me. Oh, no. All I know is you better hope you don't, because uh, payback is as uh, yeah, payback is not gonna be fun for you. I got lots of stuff up my sleeve. Lots of ideas, lots of stuff I can do. But let me know what you all think. Do you guys want her included? I'm going to make her be included, probably. Well, not make her, but I'm going to talk to her, see what she thinks. And if she wants to be part of them, then she can. Also, I might talk to my sister, too, see if she wants in it. I don't know, though. Uh, it's still also new to me. I know I said that numerous times, but... I'm also kind of camera shy is why I'm not very talkative, but I think I'm doing okay. Also, let me know down below what you all think. If I need to just start these pranks or make you all wait. I don't know yet. I feel like I should make everyone wait. I can actually plan something better. Which has actually got something planned already. So, we'll see. Anyways out here chilling with my dog not sure if anyone's seen a husky a German Shepherd and Husky mix but I got one and this dog hi my little pretty blue eyes the best dog that anyone can ask for I'll tell you what that he's super smart wouldn't trade the world for him I know, we talk crap about him because of this fur. We always go to bed and we got like an extra blanket of fur on her on because of him. So spoiled that he won't even sleep on his own damn bed most of the time. Huh, but His nickname's Butt Butt. But. Because he also likes his butt scratched 90% of the time. Oh my little crazy dog. It's, yeah. Man, whatever y'all do, don't get a long haired dog. I think we sweep and vacuum our house like three times a day. And all three times is like a death pan full of hair. And we have to empty our vacuum like three times throughout just one room. Because it gets full and clogged with his dog hair. It's nuts. And yes, we do green, we do groom him ourselves. We, he gets brushed daily and bathe. I don't know if bathing helps with that. But. And I noticed we bought a new brush and it's helping a lot, so that's making it nice. Don't have to vacuum or sweep as much. And again, I, we just swept the house yesterday. I was out there doing some dishes this morning. I was looking on the ground and under the cabinets there's I was like that a big old clump of his hair. Damn, really? I just swept yesterday. Crazy. Yeah. I don't know, like I said I would never get rid of him. It's totally worth it. it we, there's not actually I have not seen a dog like this in my city. Not the German Shepherd Husky mix. I know they're out there, but the, He's the only type here that I've seen that's mixed, so it's pretty cool. Lots of attention taking him out places. Uh, yeah. We also got a pit bull mix. His name's called Meathead, which he's not out here right now. Friendliest pit that anybody will meet. You want to talk about the biggest baby ever? That dog won't hurt a damn fly. That, uh, that's a good thing, though. But I'll tell you what, he gets protective when he needs to. He knows when he needs to be mean or when not to be mean. Actually, 
when he tries to be mean, I don't think he will be mean. But we'll see. Actually, uh, there was one time he was in my sister's car because we were at the just got done at the dog park. So we went to my mom's house for a minute, and I stayed out with him. And I got out the car, and I put my hoodie on because it was like probably like 30, 35 degrees outside. So I had my hoodie on. He didn't see me. I went and jumped on the hood of the car to sit up there. And that dog damn near dove through the fucking window to try to attack me because he thought I was someone trying to break in. Uh, yeah. Almost had to change my britches. But took my hoodie off, realized who it was, and all of a sudden he's back to wagging his tail and licking and all kinds of stuff. So that's a good thing. He won't let no one break into nothing, so that's what we need. Milo here, he doesn't really do much. He's not quite protective yet. Oh boy. Are you protective? Huh? You big baby. Well, I'm hoping the older he gets, the more protective he'll get. And he's starting to, I don't know. We'll see. He's already starting to get hip problems, and he's only, oh, actually, he's about to turn two this, like, three months, December, he, all right, I think, oh, crap, I think it, like the, I don't remember, but he is turning two this year, but he's still fairly young. Okay. I think I'm officially off, off of here for today. I'll stop bugging you guys. I'm just trying to vlog some more like my wife wants. Actually, my whole family does. YouTube's wanting me to do more too. I got enough subscribers to where they sent me an email and see if I could do some more, more videos. I don't have much more racing or off-roading videos as we don't go out as much anymore because of COVID so no one wants to do anything which I don't blame them we, uh, but everyone just works and goes home which is fine but I am trying to see if we can get a group together to go out willing so I can get some more videos race season's over at our track I'm pretty sure we're not racing no more that was kind of slowish because of COVID, but it's whatever. We'll figure something out for y'all. Get some more content out. I gotta do something. Get y'all to start watching my videos more. But I, I am out for the day. Y'all have a good day. Peace.